Hello, and welcome to the October Art Snacks unboxing. If my voice kind of sounds like Chucky from Rugrats, I apologize. I have a cold right now. So starting off in this month's box, we have as always our handy info card that describes all the supplies. And for our snack, we also have a watermelon warhead, of which I'm a big fan. Now as far as supplies, we have first two Ecoline Duo Tip pens, a Tombow Monograph Mechanical Pencil, a Criticolor Gum Eraser, a Winsor & Newton .3 Gray Fine Liner Pen, and a very cool intergalactic looking Art Snacks Pretzel Sticker. For October, of course, I have to do something Halloween-y, so I went ahead and used the pencil to trace an adorable little witch picture. So Francisco Goya had this wild artwork of witches riding naked, just tearing through the sky on their brooms, and I always was just so greatly amused by that artwork. And so I wanted to combine that with a kind of retro illustration, and I also want this video to still be all ages and not offend anyone. So we have some very tastefully placed drapery and hair. So we're all good, guys. Nothing to worry about. So it is bothering me slightly that this pen is gray because I keep wanting it to be darker. But I'm like, wait, I forget. It's not black. It's gray. So this is actually the color it's supposed to be. I just happened to get the gray one. But, um... Yeah, I wish it were a little bit darker, but um, overall this is a nice pen, but I think the ones I already have are better for my purposes. I love both the um, Stadler and Micron pens, and I don't know, I just feel like they flow a little bit better to me. Um, this pen has a really long nib, so I don't know, it just feels kind of weird to me. Just weird pen feel, <laughs> for lack of a better way to explain it. Um, the other drawback to these for me is that they're water resistant but not completely waterproof, and I use liner pens in conjunction with watercolor a lot, so this would be kind of tough for that. Um, overall, I like it. Again, nothing really wrong with this pen, but... I definitely like other brands a little bit more, especially since this pen is a bit more expensive. It's over three bucks just for one, so I'd probably stick with the brands that I already use. Now onto the Ecoline pens. I do really love these. What's cool about these is they're not filled with traditional ink. They're actually filled with concentrated watercolor paint. So although I'm not going to do it for this challenge because um, the box didn't come with a brush and you're supposed to use the supplies just that came in the box, um, you can use water to blend them. What's also neat about it being filled with watercolor pigment is that when you layer over it, you can see as I'm drawing that as I layer over an area twice with my streaks, it'll be a lot darker, but if I just swipe really quick with just one coat of the ink, it goes on a lot more light and transparent, so you can get a lot of really cool effects like this. As I just said, I use pens a lot in conjunction with watercolor, so these are perfect for me. They are a little more pricey at $7 each, which is why I really only have um, the colors of this line that I've gotten with Art Snacks boxes, but this is definitely something I might ask for for Christmas gift from Santa, perhaps. Yes, I know I'm an adult, but my parents still get me Christmas gifts, so whatever. I also love that, different than previous Ecoline pens I've gotten before in my boxes, these have the bullet nib end and the chisel end so that it works really well for filling in a variety of areas and making a variety of line shapes as you add color. After doing this gray outline and letting it dry, I did go ahead and erase any remaining pencil marks 
using the gum eraser that came with this box. I don't typically use gum erasers much myself, but this one is really nice. It's super soft and really sticky. Like it actually does feel like chewed gum kind of. <laughs> And the nice thing about it is it doesn't make a big dusty mess like all I really had to do was squish the end of this into the shape I want and then just press down on the paper and just pressing down it lifted the graphite right up so it definitely is less messy so I may get into these more in the future. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you had fun watching me make some spooky art. And if you enjoyed this and want to see future unboxings, as well as some other art demos I have coming up, then be sure to subscribe. I'm working on some other fun Halloween related art and craft demos, so you'll definitely want to check that out in the future. Thank you again. Bye!